Hi. We are. I want to talk. <laughs> I want to talk about money. I think I just love money. <laughs> And there's a lot of things I want to do, and I'm just really excited about life and wanting to go places. And there's just that little money part that I think I'm close to the vortex, but somehow I thought maybe if I try for a lottery, that, <laughs> that might be the way to go. But well, then there's the resistance part of seeing it all the time and seeing the, the lottery change all the time and not know when to, to go and buy a ticket. Well, you're making it more complicated than it needs to be because all day, every day, you put your requests into your vortex. Mm -hmm. So the only thing that is keeping you from having the money that you've requested is your awareness that it isn't there yet. So... <laughs> so, so you have to find a way of distracting yourself from what isn't working in other words you have to find a way of distracting yourself from your awareness that the money isn't there in other words you can't you can't vibrate on the not enough money into the stick and the enough money into the stick at the same time in other words you and so do you realize that you have through life you have put many requests into your vortex do you realize that well i hope so <laughs> and so and do you realize that every time you feel discouraged or every time you feel afraid or every time you feel annoyed every time you you every time you have a conversation that there isn't enough that you are actually practicing a vibration of not enough do you know about affirmations yes do you know that you're not different from most people but you are offering more affirmations about a not enough money than you are about enough money I kind of try not to think of the the reality then people but, call and say you need to give me money <laughs> but but hear what we're saying in other words you have to you have to practice your vibration and in other words if you say I want more money but I don't have enough but I want more money but I don't have enough but I want more money but I, I really like to have more money but there isn't enough or I'd like then you just keep going back and forth and you don't you don't practice any vibration that makes for any difference in your experience so one of the things that's really interesting that is going on is that as you're exploring life and you're putting your requests for more dollars over here into your vibrational escrow as your vibrational escrow which includes more dollars and more of all of the things you want as it becomes more your responsibility to remain or become and remain a vibrational match to it becomes more intense you, are you getting what yes. we're talking about mm -hmm. in other words if if you if if life keeps causing the money part of your request to expand and you keep beating the drum about the way it is that's why you begin to feel more and more discord about because and it's the subject that we would like you to understand it's not the subject of the money it's the subject of you not keeping up with the more expanded version of you which includes more money let's start at another place do you understand is everything all right with you do you understand that what you're creating is you yes do you understand that so so you're creating a more prosperous you you're not creating money you're creating a more prosperous you you're creating a more abundant you you're creating a you with greater ease you're creating a you with greater opportunity you're creating a you with more opportunity for more fun it's it's you you are the expander of you you are the creator of you you see so when we say that this vibrational reality exists it is a reality that exists and it's not just a reality that exists it's a vivid reality that exists it's the larger part of you that exists in it and you really owe it to you to keep up with it so but then humans say no I need to look at my reality as far as it is manifested and we say that's past tense as far as we are concerned if you can just accept that this vibrational reality is what is present tense and in this powerful now if you don't keep up with the present tense of your now reality if you're looking at the pet and, and people say but no this is really recent Abraham I just checked my bank account just now and we say <laughs> when you're talking about what's manifested it's really past tense present tense is what's over here and that's what you want to turn your undivided attention toward 
so as you turn your undivided attention toward it then what you begin doing you begin affirming now this is so important you begin affirming what's in your vibrational reality which is the leading edge most present tense that there is that's who you really are that other stuff that's old news so once you get into your vortex something like there are many many different things money and the law of attraction cards now these were put together as affirmations so and a lot of people will sit outside the vortex and look at those cards as a means to try to get into the vortex it's not the way we would use them at all we'd get in the vortex and then we'd look at the cards we'd get in the vortex and then we would look at the cards we would practice the vibration of being in the vortex once you're in the vortex you see what we're getting at mm -hmm. if you're not in the vortex and you're upset that you're not in the vortex does it make you go in the vortex if you beat up on yourself for not being in the vortex does it help you get in the vortex if somebody says you're not in the vortex does that help I told you you should be in the vortex does that help no. you you just have to find a way and so you see a rainbow you're in the vortex your, your cat rubs on your legs you're in the vortex a, a baby smiles at you or burps on you well maybe not that but you're in the vortex so so now you're in the vortex now now when you realize that you're in the vortex now do something about practicing the vibration why am I in the vortex what is it about this moment in time Jerry and Esther are doing this all the time what is it about this moment in time that feels so good why what, what is it is it the conversation we were having it is the thoughts that we were having is it something that we're observing what is it about this moment that feels so good milk it stay there define it hold yourself in the vibrational pattern of it repeat read the read the the affirmations from inside the vortex take your favorite music into the vortex in other words practice the vibration of being in the vortex and then when the bill comes or the concern comes or the can't I can't do that feeling comes and you realize that the vortex has spit you out for a moment now it's much easier for you to get back into the vortex it's just everything is vibrational and everything that is vibrational is mental and everything that is mental is thought and everything that's thought is energy and everything that is energy is thought and everything that's energy is words and everything that is words is thought and everything that's thought is vibration in other words it doesn't matter what way you use to define it you are vibrational beings and you just have to practice the feeling of prosperity so you imagine going somewhere just because you want to on a whim and you imagine being there and exploring it and getting to do whatever you want you find the feeling place of it when you find the emotion of it you have nailed the vibration of it so you just get there and practice it and get there and practice it so then so then let's say you've been there you've been you've been some say fantasizing well what is fantasizing by fantasizing or imagining what we mean by that is focusing upon the now reality of the vibrational vortex of creation in other words you're focusing upon the leading edge of thought yes it may not have manifested but everything that you see that is manifested is first a vibration and it's a vibrational pattern that is strong enough that it begins then to bring to it all of the necessary components you say so when we tell you your vortex of creation is now reality and you begin looking at it as now reality mm -hmm. and you train your vibration now the manifestations have to catch up with it it is law you say so whatever you're living is always an indication of vibration whatever you're living so what, I must have the money in your bank the way your body looks and feel everything that everything that you're living is an indication of vibration so money is a vibration say again would money be does it have a vibration everything has vibration there is nothing that does not have vibration but do you really want piles of money it's quite a lot of trouble <laughs> what I want to be able to do is just do what I want then I want why are we to talking travel about, then why I, are we talking about money to well, to get to places but I what we're getting at so do you believe that so let's say you haven't been able to travel and you really want to do you believe that travel is in your vortex of creation oh it is I love travel so what we want to know is why do we have to talk about money to, why can't we just talk about travel I I could be ready to go in half an hour but like I'm ready <laughs>
you know, packed and ready to go because but the thing it's that, so much fun. That, that I just that, love that fun and I want to keep doing that fun the thing, thing. The thing that we want you to hear from us is that when you take a subject like money, that without meaning to, you've practiced quite a bit of lackful vibration. So then when you say, okay, I'm going to bring a subject that I have practiced a lot of lackful vibration about, and I'm going to clean up my vibration about it. And we say, why? And you say, because I need money to have travel. And we say, no, you don't. You just need to not have a resistance that keeps you from the travel that you want. And money is taking you to resistance. It, the, uh, the subject of money is almost a sure path to, resi to activating resistance.